Boris, my friend, you're on the air. What's going on? Hey, hey guys. I'm so happy to be on the air with you. Love talking to you guys. Um, I uh, was just uh, hearing about how Cody Rhodes is going to maybe sign Zack Ryder, maybe going to sign some other people. He's signing a lot of guys. I was wondering, who do you guys think is going to be the first person to go from AEW to WWE? Because they still have a lot of money, and I think they're going to be signing some of the younger guys. I think a Darby Allen or an MJF could definitely wind up going there. Well, I want to thank you very much for the call. I mean, we interviewed Darby Allen on the Jericho Cruise, and he ravaged WWE. I would be very surprised if he ended up going to WWE. MJF? I mean, MJF is going to be an interesting one. I mean, you know, the impression I get is that MJF absolutely positively loves being in AEW, and he is a guy who... You know, he can talk, and he can he can work. He doesn't have the size. If he were the size of Wardlow, I mean, WWE, Vince would probably be throwing like $5 million at him, but he's not. But does MJF want to go to WWE where he knows he would have to do scripted promos? He knows he'd get a new name. He knows he would be handcuffed in ways that he's not going to be handcuffed in WWE. I mean, my guess, my guess is that the first person that you see going from AEW to WWE is going to be a mid-card guy that AEW doesn't do a ton with. And right now, that would be a guy like, you know, Joey Janela. He's not on the show every week. He's there every now and then. He does his match. You know, he wins some, he loses some. I mean, if, if WWE made a big offer to Joey Janela... Or or uh, who else would be in that? Um, uh, I'd have to go well, through. Let's look through the rankings. Like anybody who's like in the middle or near the bottom that you don't see very often on on, and they're doing a lot of stuff on dark or whatever. I mean, I can see WWE throwing money at them and then jumping ship. But like Cody, Bucks, Kenny, MJF, uh, you know the top stars. I I don't think you're going to see one of them jumping anytime soon. No, I don't think so either. And time and place will have a lot to do with it, you know. I mean, because you know, an easy answer would be a Jericho type because he's got that kind of movement and the ability to move, you know, back and forth. I think if unless it's a name like that, it would be somebody that is a quote-unquote homegrown, like you mentioned, a, a Janela, a, a Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford as a team, you know, getting an NXT deal or something like that. I, I figure it would be somebody like that who – you know, is not an already an established WWE name. It's going to be, again, unless it's a big name like a Jericho or something like that, you know, I can't see any big name leaving WWE and then going back anytime soon. I could be wrong, but uh, I doubt it. 